The GBU-57 Ares Perbyte Massive Ordnance Penetrator is a U.S. Air Force, precision-guided, 30,000-pound bunker buster bomb. This is substantially larger than the deepest penetrating bunker busters previously available, the 5,000-pound GBU-28 and GBU-37. Development In 2002, Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin were working on the development of a 30,000-pound earth-penetrating weapon, said to be known as Big BLU. But funding and technical difficulties resulted in the development work being abandoned. Following the 2003 invasion of Iraq, analysis of sites that had been attacked with bunker buster bombs revealed poor penetration and inadequate levels of destruction. This renewed interest in the development of a larger bunker buster, and the MOP project was initiated by the Defense Threat Reduction Agency to fulfill a longstanding Air Force requirement. The U.S. Air Force has not officially recognized specific military requirement for an ultra-large bomb, but it does have a concept for a collection of massively sized penetrator and blast weapons, the so-called Big BLU collection, which includes the MOAB bomb. Development of the MOP was performed at the Air Force Research Laboratory, Munitions Directorate, Eglin Air Force Base, Florida with design and testing work performed by Boeing. It is intended that the bomb will be deployed on the B-2 bomber, and will be guided by the use of GPS. Northrop Grumman announced a $2.5 million stealth bomber refit contract on July 19, 2007. Each of the U.S. Air Force's B-2s is to be able to carry two 14-ton MOPs. The initial explosive test of MOP took place on March 14, 2007 in a tunnel belonging to the Defense Threat Reduction Agency at the White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. On October 6, 2009, ABC News reported that the Pentagon had requested and obtained permission from the U.S. Congress to shift funding in order to accelerate the project. It was later announced by the U.S. military that funding delays and enhancements to the planned test schedule meant the bomb would not be deployable until December 2010, six months later than the original availability date. The project has had at least one successful flight test MOP launch. The Air Force took delivery of 20 bombs designed to be delivered by the B-2 bomber, in September 2011. In February 2012, Congress approved $81.6 million to further develop and improve the weapon. Equals recent development equals, on April 7, 2011, the USAF ordered eight MOPs plus supporting equipment for $28 million. On November 14, 2011, Bloomberg reported that the Air Force Global Strike Command started receiving the massive ordnance penetrator and that the deliveries will meet requirements for the current operational need. The Air Force now has received delivery of 16 MOPs as of November 2011. And as of March 2012, there is an operational stockpile at Whiteman Air Force Base. In 2012, the Pentagon requested $82 million to develop greater penetration power for the existing weapon. A 2013 report stated that the development had been a success, and B-2 integration testing began that year. Next Generation Penetrator Munition On June 25, 2010, USAF Lieutenant General Philip M. Briadlove said that the Next Generation Penetrator Munition should be about a third the size of the massive Ordnance Penetrator so it could be carried by affordable aircraft. In December 2010, the USAF had a broad agency announcement for the Next Generation Penetrator. Global Strike Command has indicated that one of the objectives for the Next Generation Bomber is for it to carry a weapon with the effects of the massive Ordnance Penetrator. This would either be with the same weapon or a smaller weapon that uses rocket power to reach sufficient speed to match the penetrating power of the larger weapon. One of the current limitations of the MOP is that it lacks a void sensing fuse and will therefore detonate after it has come to a stop, even if it passed by the target area. Specifications, length, 20.5 feet, diameter, 31.5 inches, weight, 30,000 pounds, warhead. 5,300 pounds high explosive, penetration, 200 feet. See also, bunker buster, earthquake bomb, thermobaric weapon, specific large bombs, BLU-82 daisy cutter bomb, father of all bombs, GBU-43 per byte massive ordnance air blast bomb, grand slam bomb.
T12 Cloudmaker, Tallboy Bomb. References. External links. Massive Ordnance Penetrator Fact Sheet to Euro DTRA.mil, First Massive Ordnance Penetrator Explosive Test Successful a Euro DTRA.mil, Boeing Developed Massive Ordnance Penetrator Successfully Complete Static Lethality Test a Euro Boeing, Bunker Busters May Grow to £30,000 a Euro CNN, Massive Bomb to MOP Up Deeply Buried Targets a Euro Jane's Defense Weekly, A Different Kind of Smart. Weapons becoming autonomous and precisia Euro Janes, Massive Ordnance Pentrutra Euro Global Security.org, U.S. Outfitting B-2s with Monster Bunker Buster Bombs, Iran may be target to Euro News Max, Mopping Up, the USA's 30,000-pound bomb, Kennedy Feinstein. Amendment to the Defense Authorization Bill on the Robust Nuclear Earth Penetrator, Rare Image of a B-2 Stealth Bomber and its Massive Ordnance Penetrator Bunker Buster Bomb.